making green zest juice I usually buy this at uh, a juice store but I decided to do it myself so what I'm, I'll be using is a uh, um, spinach cucumber orange lime pineapple and ginger yes and ginger I almost forgot the ginger and ginger is very essential because I like it when it is when it is uh, you know spicy so I already juiced just one orange juice not one just half of it so I'm going to juice the rest and the lime then I don't have a juicer yet but I'm going to get a juicer maybe next week or something so but so I'll, the other way I'll be doing this is by blending them so I'll juice the ones that I can juice which is the citrus the orange and the lime then the cucumber the pineapple the spinach and the ginger I'll be blending them so when I'm done blending them I'll squeeze the liquid out then I'll mix it with the orange juice and the lime so I'll be showing you guys how I'll be doing that yeah so Actually, this is not juicing it well so I'm just going to do everything manually because it's, it's not pressing it I think it's too small for that place so I'm just going to do it with my bare hands We have so far. Look at the juice. You can see the juice that we have so far. And this is just these are the only two I've done. I've only done these two so far, and then this the third one. So I'm lucky this orange actually has like juice in it because if it didn't have enough juice, it won't be enough. To go around because I'll be using a whole pineapple. <laughs> it looks crazy. So next one, I think I need to actually remove the things here so that the liquid can go in easily. So hold on. Let me use one of my fancy spoons. So. Need to put this in there. is almost filled up. I need to transfer it to a container. I feel like drinking it <laughs> but I can't do that. Yeah, not like I can't do that, do that, but I mean I can't drink it because I it's part of the ingredients to make the whole green zest juice. So if I drink this, I would be reducing the portion that is meant for the finished juice. Hmm. 
Next, let me do one line. Actually, this cup is full now. You can see it is full. I still have to see it. I'll be towards the end for the final look. Okay, I'm back. I'll be putting this one here. juice I love it so I just emptied the first cup I'm just in the rest now I don't know, I feel like this lime don't have enough juice in there. They don't have juice in there. They're just... Okay. Maybe this one has a little juice. So small. So small. Before I started, I washed my hands, so everything is clean. There's no liquid. It's just hard.
orange juice and lime this is all i was able to get i already started uh, peeling the pineapples so let me just continue peeling it Okay, so I'm done now. So I just need to start putting them into pieces. So I'm going to move this one out of the way. I'm cutting it into four pieces so that it will be easy to blend. Like I said, I don't have a juicer yet, so I'm still doing this the manual way. But I can't wait to get a juicer. I really need to get one because I want to. I like making juice myself. If I have a juicer, it will be less stressful. I won't have to be doing all of this unnecessary hard work. I know you're thinking maybe um, this pineapple isn't ripe, but it is actually very ripe and it is juicy. Like, it is juicy and very ripe. It tastes so good. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the blender. I already put, uh, you can see there's spinach, there's cucumber, there's ginger. I didn't peel the ginger because there's no points. I won't be needing the body. So let's dump this in there. I'll have to do this turn, have to turn by turn because there's limited space in this blender. So I'll blend this first then. I'll blend the rest later. Okay, so let's go. Okay, it's time. It's time to blend. 
Let's go. <laughs> So it's time to blend. Let's go. Okay. okay, so let's start blending. I already started with So I'm just going to add more pineapple. Like I said, I'll be putting them one after the other because of the space that we have here. And it just won't get filled up. Keep them back. Okay. Okay, time to save. So I'll be using this and I'll be using this um let's mesh so if this one is not very effective i'll use this one so let's see which one will be more effective so this is what i have blended you can see it is so green it's supposed to be green because i like i said this juice is called green zest so if it's not green then it is not what it is. Okay, so let's start with this one. You can see. Just add more. Okay. okay, so I want to show you guys how to use um, the mesh clothes method because. I really don't use. I I need to. I oh blah blah. Okay, so I already put. Um, let me open it so you can see. This is what I've blended. So I'm putting it in the mesh, and then I'm going to squeeze it. Just watch. I'm putting it in a separate um, bowl so that you can see what we are making here so you can either use the sieve like the first that was the first thing i used or you can use a mesh clothes or a net 
now it, it's make sure it is actually mesh not like net with a lot of holes like you can barely see the holes in this one and that's what you need so that you don't get any particles in the juice all you need is just the, the juice you don't need what's inside you don't need the rough edges just the juice okay i think that's all the juice in this let's see Did that sort the juice in this? Yeah. That is all. I've actually done one. This is all we have left. So this is the second one. And then I'll be doing the third time. So, so the only thing about this method is that this manual juicing method it is stressful and it is messy you can see so it is stressful and it is messy like everywhere will be messed up but if you have like the juicer you don't need to go through all this mess and this is just me showing you how to make your own juice even without a juicer so i'm preparing the last one let me just show it to you because I'm doing it like behind the scenes. So this is what this mesh looks like right now. Let me put this here. This is what I'm about to drain. Yes, I think that's the word. So I'm about to drain. So I'm going to put this inside the mesh. So here we have already transferred it in the mesh. You can see it inside. So let's start juicing. This whole juice is just for me alone. I'm drinking all this by myself. And yeah, I love this juice. I can't wait to put it in the fridge so it gets so cold and it's going to be very refreshing. I think that's all the liquid that we have here. Yeah, that's everything. Oof. So I'm finally done. So I'm showing you, this is a, what I was able to get from the, from the, not, okay, yes, this, the two, um, I did two on camera. So this is the two juice I got from the two sets I did. Overall, this is all my juice. I'm going to add this to this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but this is this is actually a big bowl. This is a big bowl. So if you can see it, it's a lot of juice, a lot. And I haven't added. Don't forget, I did my orange and lime separately. I haven't added those, so I'm going to add them right now. I'm going to add the orange and lime right now. Okay, so this is the orange and lime from the beginning of this video. So I'll be adding it to it now. Yeah, that's all of it. Then I will mix everything together. I need my, uh, okay, let me wash my spoon.
Okay. So. Mix it all up. You can see. This is our juice. And I'm going to bottle them now. Okay, so it's time to bottle the juice. And because this bowl is too wide, I'll be using a cup to get the juice from the bowl, then I'll transfer it to the bottle. So the cup is clean, everything I use is clean. It's still messy. I don't know why everything is just so messy. You guys need to try. I know you're looking at it that it's so green, but for real, you guys need to try it. It's so green and it's so good. Okay, it's green and so good. And no, it doesn't taste like medicine. It tastes like a juice you love. Oof, that's too much. Okay, so that's. I think that's okay for this one. So let me move to the next bottle. Actually, I already started pouring this one. Then the first time I did this, I actually like spilled a lot of juice. So I had to put this aside so that you guys can see me do it from the beginning. So now I'm going to continue pouring this. I think this one can just go. Let me show you guys this. Let me give you a close up look. Mm, a little particles, but it's all good. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to spill. Yeah, so that's the last of it. <sighs> so, we are finally done. I was able to get three bottles out of the entire juice, which is okay for me. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. So let me show you guys what it looks like. Nah, this is just beautiful. I don't know. This is just beautiful. I love it. This is the first time I'm doing this particular type of juice and I'm so happy. You can tell that's why I'm so happy. Because usually I just do like um like um pineapple and ginger zobo. Um I didn't look this very well. And like watermelon juice i haven't done that in a while but i'm going to do i think i'll do that soon so thank you for watching i hope you were able to learn something in this video and yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing you guys try this thank you bye bye